Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now it was in the news that CS Moses Kuria in the Minister of Public Service Performance and Delivery Management had appointed Jackie Maribe as communication uh, personnel in his ministry. After that, we saw Dennis Itumbi taking it to the social media to congratulate Jackie Maribe and Moses Kuria for giving such a chance. And this is what uh, Kuri, uh, Dennis Itumbi uh, said. Congratulations, Jackie Maribe. May God bless you as you serve. Asante CS Honorable CS Moses Kuria for standing with the generation. Please keep doing good and stretching your hand. That was Dennis Itumbi. Then after that, remember it is coming just all of a sudden at a time when Jackie Maribe had pardoned in the uh, murder case of Monica Kimani, but her former partner, Joey Irungu, had been um, you know, convicted eh, on the same. So it is just a month from the time Jackie Maribe had been pardoned. Then later, Joey Irungu handed over death sentence. Then boom, appointment. So after this, the controversy came in after the Public uh, Service Commission came out to deny such kind of allegation of the appointment of Jackie Maribe. And this is the communication which is very clear to tell you that they have not appointed Jackie Maribe. Public Service Commission press release. PSC has not approved jan journalist Jackie Maribe. The Public Service Commission has not appointed former Royal Media journalist Jackie Maribe as head of communication in the Ministry of Public Service Performance and Delivery Management. Contrary to the social media post attributed to Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria, PSC Chairperson Ambassador Anton Muchiri clarified that no such appointment had been made, neither has a request to appoint to employ her been received by the board. For the record, the said position will be filled through a competitive recruitment process should a vacancy arise, arise, he said. Mr. Kuria is quoted to have said that it is true except, ex, except that I am not the one who appoint her but Public Service Commission. Signed Public, Public Communication Unity, Public Service Communication. So this one is from Public Communication Unity. Sorry, from Public Service Communication through Public Communication Unity. So that is their position, which is contrary to what was shared. There is something they're telling us in this letter here. And the communication is that if there can be such a position or a vacant of appointment, then the due process of competitive recruitment will be followed. Therefore, this confirms to us that if there was such kind of appointment by Moses Kuria, then they not follow the competitive process of appointment, whereby people will apply and you take the best out of that. That means... In this appointment, if there is any like this done by Moses Kuria, then it was favorism because there was no the uh, right process being followed to make such appointment. That's one clarification that is coming from this uh, press release. But above all, we know that Moses Kuria was in Nakuru together with the, the host governor, Susan Kihika, of course, launching some issues there to do with the with the, uh, the Tibet, I think, vocation training centers. And then we saw Jackie Maribe also updating Kenyans on that move. So that, 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 to some extent, is also 
revealing something here yeah, because that's what she shared on her timeline. All set for CS Moses Korea in Nakuru County Thursday for NYS VC, VTC Machinani. NYS VTC Machinani in partnership with the Ministry of Public Service Performance and Delivery Management, NYS and the Vocation Training Center. You can see the photo of Moses Kuria and Susan Kihika. Areas where they are going to meet Mi, Mirera, Nakuru, Mbegi, Kagoto, Molo, Njoro. She shared this in her timeline and above all, we also saw some photos proving that she accompanied Moses Kuria to this event. So by the fact that she shared this, it is telling us that she is already in the office and the operations are going on. So she is already working despite the fact that the Public Service Commission is clearing the air that nothing like appointment has been done. And if there can be any, then a competitive process will be followed to the latter. But you see, she's already working for Korea. The photos were all over accompanying Moses Korea in that event. So what Alona tells you? That Korea has given me a job, I'm already doing that, I don't care, and things like those ones. Eh? I think that is what is coming out of this post. And the Kenyans are also asking question, why this much quick, immediately after just a case? <laughs> and we want to continue the discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. I don't know if I'm repeating myself or if it's the first time now I'm reminding you to subscribe. If there's no confusion, sorry for that. But back to the discussion. Now, the question is, eh, Jackie Maribe's fingerprint was taken once this case was active to do with the Monica Kimani murder case. And the question has been, how quick has it happened that she can get quickly the certificate for good contact in a blink of an eye, she has. And we know when you apply for this paper, it takes you days. Even this administration has been telling us that they don't have papers. Anytime you go to apply, you can ID, you can a good contract. <laughs> How quick was this? How did it happen? Does she have one? That is the question Kenyans are asking. And with this quick move, why the rush? Is it a way to deal with the damage control? That you change the narrative? Because we know there's the issue of Joey behind the bar for the life. Then the Kimari released. The issue is all about murder case and the two were in the case. One pardoned. So is it a strategy of damage control to clean her name or what is happening here so many questions because people are questioning the speed in which the appointment just happened and the tumbi was quick to react on the same and by the way who appointed her is it Kuria or a tumbi and who is pushing for appointment? Is it Kuria himself or Dennis Itumbi? Because Itumbi has been close to Jackie Maribe, even on the corridors of the court. He has been there around Jackie Maribe. So who is pushing for this? But there is something also we learn from the rest here that to get appointment in Kenya Kwanda administration, you need connections. It's not all about, you know, competitive way of appointment. It's not all about that those who made for the job. It's all about having connection. 
No matter whether you are a hustler or what, if you don't have connection, you cannot get appointment to this government. Now the Kimarikbe has been close to Dennis Itumbi. So you have a ladder to get connection. That's also another conclusion Kenyans are making on the same. But then, why controversy? Does it mean that Kuria has no power to appoint or they don't follow the legal process to do the appointment? It also tells you that Kuria's hands are also tied. He can't just make appointment without consulting also. Serikali ni ayudie, chama ni rift valley. That's also another message from this. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.